Well, everybody, uh, I was just down at the feed store, uh, grabbing some feed for my chickens and, uh, pigs and, and everyone, and, uh, actually had to put a bag of alfalfa back because I was breaking the bank. Um, feed prices have gotten so out of control that, uh, I'm rethinking the amount of animals that are going to be able to stay on the farm this year and uh, going to have to downsize my chickens and uh, I'm even rethinking my plans to uh, expand any pig or goat operations until I can figure this out. Uh, I need everybody out on pasture, and I don't have a lot of pasture here, and I've been trying to move for a couple of years, and it's a, it's a big problem, because the more you have your animals out on pasture, the less you have to actually go buy them feed. And, uh, I really need to build some, some tractors in a hurry for the birds and get them out on, onto some grass, because, uh, feed prices have gone up exponentially. I mean, uh, a bag of uh, organic soy-free layer pellets used to cost maybe $22, $23, and now it's more up to $27, $28. Um, the alfalfa has also increased in price <laughs> exponentially. That's like 27 bucks a bag right now, between 25 and 27 I, I don't take the receipts and don't have them on me, but uh, pig feed went up everything everything went up like five bucks a bag and uh you add all that together and it's it's killing me so uh i think i'm gonna have to uh definitely rehome some some chickens and uh the five goslings that just hatched here they're they're off to new homes because i can't afford to feed uh eight or nine geese all year round right at, at the moment this is what i want my birds and my goats and pigs out on all summer. Say from May to October, they should be uh, out eating stuff like this and uh, finding bugs and just having a small amount of supplemental grain. Because, uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> permaculture farming is all about sustainability and right now, uh, predictably, grain prices are very unstable and fuel prices and everything so um yeah uh, unfortunately uh gonna have to make some hard decisions and uh, the chickens over in the chicken jail are gonna have to get the hell off my feed bill pretty immediately i'm gonna have to butcher them and stick them in the freezer <laughs> getting hotter and hotter out so that chore is getting uh, nastier and nastier the longer I wait but yeah these jerks in here need to get the hell off of my feed bill these two Delawares are in here for eating eggs so they're in in jail for that this rooster just isn't needed on the on the farm he's a uh, Murray's big red or something and they don't breed true so his services aren't needed at the moment, and, uh, this is also a meat chicken in jail for eating eggs. <laughs> so, I need to get these five birds the hell off my bill immediately. Hi. Now, one of these chicks was hatched here, and so far looks like a, like a girl, so she's gonna be kept and put over on the other side where she belongs. <laughs> They're all naughty little escape artists, but, uh... Four of these are allegedly black Australorp, even though one of them doesn't have black eyes, and a couple of them have white feathers on them. Black Australorps aren't supposed to have any white feathers. That's very odd. I think Tractor Supply sells really sketch-tastic quality chickens, because... I've never seen black Australorps with white feathering around their heads peeking through on their bodies anywhere. These other two are supposed to be buff Orpingtons, and I think they actually are buff Orpingtons, but uh, they can't all stay. 
And I'm going to have to uh, probably rehome most or all of these Australorps and Orpingtons. Unless I can figure out some way to either work them into my meat operation and end up eating the Australorps. <laughs> and uh, the Orpingtons, I don't know if they can stay either. I'd really like to ideally have my chickens down to 10 per side per coop uh, before winter. And I'm already panicking about that because of the grain prices. Hi. Of course it gets away from me as soon as I get the camera on. Yeah, I was trying to get a closer look at that chicken who is obviously not really a black Australorp. It's got the wrong eye color. The other Australorps, or alleged Australorps, have black eyes. So that one definitely not a black Australorp. <laughs> 